Well, here we are at the Smart Energy Expo 2021 at the Pixie Stand. I'm here with Neil in front of this beast of a machine. So, Neil, what is this? Well, uh, uh, Glenn, this is, um, this is a, a battery energy storage system. Um, it's a modular, scalable system. Uh, it uh, comprises of um, inverter technology, uh, bi-directional inverter technology in a modular format. 3.3 kilowatt modules that we can scale in this system up to up to 30 kilowatts of power and, um, and in this particular cabinet we're using the LG Chem uh, 6.5 kilowatt hour um, uh, NMC batteries and we can fit 65 kilowatt hours of batteries into the cabinet with 30 kilowatts of, of, um, of power conversion. Bi-directional, AS4777 certified Recently, we've been through a bit of a process with that, but um, yeah, the system's now tested and approved for sale in Australia. So we're very thrilled and, and excited about the opportunities, and the show has been fantastic. Uh, we've had a lot of interest um, from different segments of the marketplace, particularly the commercial industrial solar uh, type applications. So, um, so yeah, we're, we're very excited to be here in Australia. So Ian, okay. um, Neil. tell me a bit about Pixie. I've, I've, I know a little bit about Pixie. Okay, so Pixie is uh, a Norwegian company um, incorporated in Oslo in 2016. It, uh, it came from um, uh, 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 the, the R&D team from uh, another power electronics company, Eltec Power Systems, ah, which yes. was founded in, um, in Norway in the mid-70s. And about four or five years ago, it was sold off to a Taiwanese company, Delta Power Systems. That left the, the, uh, the R&D team, the executive management team, the major shareholders kind of high and dry in Norway. Uh, and they've been working on technology, this bi-directional rectifier technology, for the last uh, few years of their time with, with LTEC. And, um, and they kind of continued that on with, uh, under the new name of Pixie. Right. So, um, so yeah, so the company is fairly new. Um, experience uh, in the in the organisation, you know, goes back 25, 30 years. Um, so we've got a lot of experience in in, uh, in power electronics and power conversion, and um, and we're entering into a new market. Uh, historically, the products that we designed and manufactured were for the telecommunications market, uh, whereas the uh, the Pixie system is more designed for um, the renewables, the utilities. Uh, electric vehicles, support electric vehicle charging, those sorts of applications. So not all our viewers will know what a bi-directional inverter is. So uh -huh. How does that work? Okay, so the, 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 the base module um, is a, is a 3.3 kilowatt um, uh, rectifier. So it's converting AC to DC. But the, um, the, the Pixie module can uh, work in the opposite direction as well. So it can convert the DC power back to AC power. So it's kind of like a rectifier system, but it works in both directions. So it rectifies AC to DC and then con inverts uh, DC power back to AC. So I imagine for telco applications, it would be a standalone product, like a UPS system, as backup for you know when a grid fails. But you can also support the grid now. Correct. That's right. So um, in, a, in, a, in a telco application, typically they're using rectification to provide power in the event of a power failure to their telecommunications loads. Um, this system will work in that uh, scenario perfectly well uh, as, a, as a rectifier system, but it gives the telcos the opportunity to use their lazy asset, which is the batteries, to perhaps provide arbitrage services back to the utilities. Like in a VPP type environment, they could be providing FCAS or grid support type services across you know, the, the, the number of sites that they've got in their network. That's really clever because you know UPS systems are a once in a year, you know, sitting there doing nothing, That's right. not earning anything. That's it's right. Just a, a dead asset, basically. So That's a lazy right. asset. That's a great application. It now, is. I mean, by the scale of this, this is probably an industrial application. Is that what you're seeing? Is all commercial industrial? Um, well, it, it, because the the module itself is 3.3 kilowatt. This is a this is kind of a commercial type of industrial yep. scale, 30 yep. kilowatts. But the module itself is a single phase 3.3 kilowatt module. So we can scale it down. Um, the, the, the power rack at the top here where you see the, uh, the modules, um, the, each RU uh, of space will give us 10 kilowatts of power um, and we can scale the system down to even domestic type applications. So we're currently working on, um, on, on, some, um, on some system configurations that will uh, work for battery energy storage for home. 
the module itself is also software configurable, so we can make it into a, uh, an MPPT module at the same time. So we can have both an MPPT module and a battery inverter in the same system using the same module, but it's software configurable. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Yeah, right. yeah and, it's, and, and that would then give us a, a 48 volt DC coupled hybrid system that we can scale from 3.3 um, kilowatts, but let's say we're in a domestic application, it might be 10 kilowatts of battery energy storage, it might be 10 kilowatts of uh, MPPT from the roof of your building, um, and then we can scale that upwards to 50 kilowatts in a system like this, for instance, um, and then we can master slave those those systems up to a megawatt or more. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So I'm just getting my head around this, taking a 3.3 kilowatt module yes. and building to any scale, single or three phase, Correct. as both a rectifier, an inverter, and an MPPT. Yes. All in the one product. Correct. And then you've got the Pixie module, which is like the smarts behind it, for it to do other things like VPP or is Pixie uh, well, module? The, 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 Pixie, the Pixie gateway, uh, gateway is, the, is, the, is the control module. Yep. Um, the, um, uh, the, the, the rectification and inverter module is over there if you'd like me to show you the actual product. Yeah, we'll, we'll have a closer look at that in a minute. In a second, okay. Oh, cool. Yeah, but it is, yes, it's a, it's a fully software definable module that has multifunction. Yeah. Multi Great. Well, thanks, Neil. That's it's okay. been really interesting looking at this and actually seeing the scale of this product in the flesh. Yeah, it's Fantastic. pretty impressive. Yeah, well, it's, it's um, a pleasure to share it with you. Great, thanks. Good. So, this is the actual Pixie box. This is where the power conversion happens. That's right, Glenn. This is the, uh, the Pixie module. It's um, a very compact, um, high watts per cubic inch uh, module, 3.3 kilowatt uh, module, which um, as I mentioned before, has the you know all the functionality and the software configurable into several different modes. Can I feel it? Yeah, sure. That's 3.3 kilowatts. Correct. God, that's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. <laughs> oh, well, I'm glad you like it. How heavy is this? <laughs> heavy. Yeah. Oh well, that would be what a, a kilogram or maybe 1.5 kilograms. Right. 1.5 kilograms, 3.3 yeah. kilowatts, and they go into an RU rack system like this. And there's a termination block at the back. There's a termination block at the back for both the AC and the DC. Or if it's in the MPPT uh, mode, it would be the DC and the DC, the 48 volts and the 450 volts from your solar panels, or the 240 volts from the, the mains and your 48 volts out to the batteries. So would it be possible, for instance, a customer specs uh, you know, three units and then they, yes. they actually say, that's not enough, I need more, can yes. you just add more? Oh yes, of course, that's the whole principle. It's a, it's a scalable system so that you can size a system to what you think you might need in the future and then you can simply add modules as you grow. If you want to include more um, battery energy storage, you can add more batteries and you can add more modules to give you the extra capacity. Uh, if you wanted to start off with batteries and add solar modules later, you can add the solar modules uh, later in the piece. Gosh, you can virtually do anything. So you can start off with, actually it's a, a backup system, it's pure UPS. Uh, then you go, well actually we want to do a bit of arbitrage and so we're going to use the smarts that control this to be able to export on demand. Yes, yes. Particularly with the five minute settlement coming, that's going to, that's be, right, yes. going to be an interesting time. Yes. And then you go, well actually renewables are where the big cost savings are as well, yeah, so why don't yes. we add some solar to this. And uh, demand charge reduction, all that sort of stuff kicks in as well. All with the same piece of hardware. Correct. Yes. Wow. Yeah. It's quite innovative and it's quite different to what's in the market in place at the moment so it's um yeah it's, it's 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 very exciting we're getting a lot of interest yeah, i'm a bit of a computer geek and this just so reminds me of hot swappable drives yes <laughs> um, are they hot swappable of course yes you're um, kidding so the, so the, the, system, the systems uh, you know can be working um, 24 by 7 but if you need to change your module for whatever reason or you need to add a module uh, you can simply unclick the switch and put in, unclick the connection and pull it out and while it's on while it's on wow Okay, so ultimate redundancy, you know, we don't have to shut down the whole center uh, because one power module is yeah. not working to its full potential or you need to add more. That's right. Fantastic. Yeah. Thanks, Neil. No problem. Thanks.